Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Make It Monday. Today, we are doing something a little different, a little new. Uh, we have a 75 gallon tank behind us. That we are going to be setting up uh, from start to finish. It's a brand new tank. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to paint paint the back. Um, then we're going to we're going to have to reinforce the console that it's going to be sitting on because 75 gallons of water is a lot of water. Um, so we're going to have to do that, and we'll show you how we do that. Okay. Um, before we actually paint the background, we got to clean it and make sure that there's no like fingerprints or oils or any of the grime from stickers since it is a new tank. So we have to clean off of that. Um, you can just use warm soapy water to, to clean it. We're just going to be using some Windex because that's what we have. Um, also, a little tip to get the grime off of the glass, just use a flat razor. Real simple. Okay, so now that we got it all taped off around the edges, use some paper to cover the sides. And of course the top, we are ready to paint. So the paint that we have, it's a Rust-Oleum brand and it's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but it's like a textured stone, really cool. This is what they picked out for the back. So the texture might not show through exactly, but we will see. One can down. Okay, this is the console that we're going to be putting the 75 gallon on. Although the one issue that we're going to have to support and brace it underneath because as you can see there is no bracing other than on this one side in between here is the wall but that is not going to be enough so we're thinking of adding um, some 4x4s here in the front as posts maybe two maybe three we'll see what we have and then underneath we're gonna have to add some extra legs also going underneath those posts, the four by fours. And then along that back wall, we're gonna put a few two by sixes, um, posts flat up against the wall, and then same underneath on the back side to give that extra support. And hopefully that will be good enough. Okay, so we're gonna be cutting the posts that are going to go inside of the cabinet. Um, we need 22 and 3 quarters. We're going to cut it just a hair bigger just to make sure that it's nice and snug inside of the cabinet. Um, we don't want it to be too small because then it's not really giving any much support at all. So we're going to go ahead and measure out 22 and 3 quarters. We're going to cut uh, four of these so we can have four posts and then a little something to go underneath those below the cabinet to act as the actual support and brace underneath. So let's go ahead and do that.
Toodles. All right, so we got four of the four by fours cut for inside. We got four of the two by sixes cut for the back. We have the extra four by fours, which are going to be um, the legs that are going underneath these four by fours to give support from underneath. So I think we're good. Um, we haven't cut the legs just because um the console is not level um 100 so we might want to tweak that which will mess with the measurements so uh, i think we're good to go unfortunately we can't put these in quite yet um certain things going on inside the house so uh in the next video we will show installing all these supports and braces and how we do that um like you saw, the tank is done being painted. Um, looks awesome, I believe. And little by little, this is gonna come together, guys. So I got super excited today when I got the Amazon notification that my package was delivered. It of course is the Lee's Premium Undergrab Filter. Open it up, was about to open the box itself and set it all up and get it installed in the tank to show you guys. Then I noticed, Fitz Standard 10 Gallon Aquarium. <sighs> I bought the wrong one guys. We need the 20 gallon and I ordered the 10 gallon. That's what happens when you try and make uh, spur of the moment purchases. Should have listened to the wife. <laughs> so uh, I, we are gonna be possibly either just trying to sell this or return it um, for a refund. Not sure quite yet, but we have a month to do so. And I went ahead and ordered the correct one, the 20 gallon one. Double check this time, wife double checked. So we are good. Hopefully that will get here uh, in a few days. And when we do, we'll show you how we set all that up and get it running. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for sticking through another video. I really appreciate it. That kind of concludes our build for today. All right. Well, if uh, you like what you saw today, um, I know it wasn't that much progress, but we got uh, the background painted. We got the supports cut down to size we haven't been able to put them in yet but we'll do that in the next video so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe if you're not already make sure you like comment let me know what you think about this build so far and i appreciate all feedback absolutely all feedback don't forget to turn on that notification bell to stay up to date and make sure you get alerted with the next video so you don't miss a thing thank you very much and until next time